What's up everyone, Andy Kruger here. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to train a sit without using food. Let's go. Four month old golden retriever puppy. He's gonna help me demonstrate this. Now by show of hands, how many people out there watching this go, my dog will sit for a treat, but when I don't have the food, my dog knows it and won't do it. How many people, I can't tell you how often I hear that and that's because your dog doesn't understand leash pressure and pressure from your hand. Of course, in your kitchen by yourself, your dog will sit all day for a treat, but when you take them for a walk, you take them out in public, you say sit, you try to fake lure them, they know you don't have food, they don't do it at all. It can be very frustrating for an owner, but I'm gonna show you how to change all that. No doubt, there's going to be situations where things are more interesting to the dog or puppy than the little treat that you have in your hand. They get that at home every day anyway. So we need to motivate them. We need to communicate with them in a different way. So now with this little guy here, I'm going to show you how I do it. And yes, I admit I've done this a couple times before with him. So it's probably going to go a little bit easier than a dog that's never, ever done it. Definitely better to start this young when they're a pup, but nonetheless, you can still get it done. So let's go. Come on, nice boy. Yeah. Step one, have a leash and collar on the dog. Flat collar only. Yeah, buddy. Step number two, you need a left hand, you need a right hand. Right hand's gonna grab the leash. My left hand is gonna push down on the puppy's bottom. My right hand is gonna gently lift up on the collar. When the rear end hits the ground, I'm gonna relieve the pressure. I'm gonna praise my puppy and I'm gonna release him before he gets up on his own. Release him before he gets up on his own. It looks like this. Whee! Left hand, push. Good boy. I tell him good boy, I praise him. We're still sitting and I release. Noxy boy, free. Yeah, that's a good boy. What are you doing, buddy? Here comes the sit. Nice. Nice job. Totally loose leash when he sits. That's most important. Good job. Free. So if I take Knox to the park, he's going to be way more distracted, way less engaged than just out here on my property in my training room where he's used to training. So in that situation, instead of trying to sit, 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 no, no, sit, 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 uh. instead of all that, this is what I'm gonna do if I'm out at the park. Oh look, Knox sees another dog. He's really distracted. He's really checked out. I still want him to sit. I don't want to repeat it. I don't want to correct him. Check this out. Good boy. Now let's say before I release him, he pops up from that sit. And Knox, pop up. I have my hands ready. I pressure him right back into the sit. I praise him and then ideally, I release him the opposite way. He's looking that way. Oxy boy, hey! <laughs> Look at that buddy. Look at that little buddy there. Look at that buddy there. Ooh. <laughs> All right, sit. Good boy. When do you start saying the word sit? You start saying it when every single time you can go like this, dink dog rear end goes straight down then you can start naming it but if you're going and then your dog spins out your dog doesn't do it you're not ready to start saying sit so don't name it till you love it one more where's that boy where's that good boy oh yeah good job sit Nice job, buddy. I'm conditioning him when he hears that word, the pressure starts 
and he always winds up putting that butt on the ground. What you don't want to do is stand here like this. You go sit and the dog stands there like a statue. All you're doing is conditioning a delay. Sit, whoop, good. Sit, boop, good. Sit, boom. After a few repetitions, the puppy starts going, this guy says sit, he's gonna make it happen, and then he's gonna pet me. Okay, sounds good to me. I never even developed that delay. And doing it this way, at this stage, he's four months old. I don't wanna correct him for not sitting. Well, he knows sit, but he's not doing, he doesn't know sit. I don't wanna correct him. I wanna go boom, that's how you do it. Sit, boom, that's how you do it. After you do that a hundred times, you can start to take your hands away and the dog has the reflex to immediately sit. Isn't that right, buddy? It's hard out here for a pup, isn't it? It's hard out here for a pup. Good boy, do you wanna do one more? Do you wanna do one more, buddy? Let's do one more. Look alive. It's boot camp, we gotta shape this boy up. There we go, ready? One, two, three, sit. Ah, ha, ha, nice, nice. I like to praise under the chin like this so he holds his head nice and high and he's not trying to do that. If you pet your dog and they immediately want to get up out of the sit and leave, no good, we can't have that. We have to accept praise very nicely. Maxi boy. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. Good boy. Sit. Beautiful. And the leash is loose when he's seated. Good boy. You're free. Release the opposite direction. Simple as that, y'all. Left hand, right hand. Boom, boom, boom. You walk into a situation, you're like, I know my dog's distracted and checked out. I know if I say sit, they won't do it. You don't have to correct them. Predict it, know your dog, read your dog, get your leash, get your hand, sit. Good boy, make it happen. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Come on, Axie boy. You're all done. You're all done, bud. To the untrained eye, this looks like I'm just letting a dog lead me around on a retractable leash, nothing more, nothing less. But I am analyzing the dog with this exercise here. This is gonna tell me a lot about a dog. Does a dog wanna stick by me? Is he chewing on the leash? Is he whining? Like little man's doing, that shows me my dog here is anxious, he's stressed. He's five months old, so the owners have had him for three months. He's never, I mean, he's left the house, but he's always been with them, never been left anywhere. 